Hello my little poppets and welcome back to my channel. So this week I'm doing a rewind spread from the 12th of August through to the 18th because I've just recently had two weeks off so I'm trying to do a bit of a catch up. I'm sure I'll get back up to date and have a regular plan with me's coming up soon but for the next few weeks it's definitely going to be rewind spreads which I hope is okay. So the kit that I'm going to be using this week is from Planning with Tea. I have had this kit for well over a year maybe even two years I will try and find the shop and link it down below but it is a summery kit and I feel like we're coming up to the last few weeks of summer so I kind of had to use it it was either now or never I did pull in some washi strips as there's no washi included with the kit so one of them was a kind of summery palm leaves I think they are and the other washi is this simply gilded one with the foiled gold bows so I'm going to be starting off with the washi I'm going to put the leaf one down first at the bottom and then I decided to put the thinner washi on top I've seen lots of people do this in the planner I don't think I've done it or I haven't done it much if I have but I do like the way it looks so if you have a thicker piece of washi and you put the thinner one like on top or in the middle it looks really pretty so I decided to do that this week um, and then after this I'm going to be putting the headers along the top because there wasn't any date covers and I didn't feel like pulling any in this week so that's what I'll be doing next which you know I'm nearly there I'm looking at my little screen nearly there so how is everyone how are you uh, I was away with family on holiday for two weeks we actually went camping for the first week and then we had to come home because I was bitten by a spider so I got bitten by a false widow spider and my arm it blew up it was really hard it was really painful and then when we come home I was in bed ill for three days straight I just didn't get out of bed it wasn't very nice at all but I hope you guys are okay hope you've had a lovely two weeks let me know if anything amazing happened while I was away or anything in the planning community that I have missed because I'm sure there's lots of things and um, but now we're going to jump in and go in day by day so the first thing is on Monday I went to work which to be honest I probably shouldn't have because the Sunday was the first day that I was kind of up and out of bed not dressed but just up and then Monday I went into work and then ended up having the worst day ever you know when you just have those days everything goes wrong and you're like I'm done with today that was how my day was at work also on Monday I had a food shop delivery as we've been away for so long I obviously had to do an online food shop which I kind of done in a delirious state so that was an interesting food shop to unpack and um, so to mark that I put down one of my little food poppets and then to cheer myself up after my day at work I decided just to binge watch some of Shane Dawson's older videos and I used the poppet tv icon to mark that I also done some housework so I just used one of my little home life poppets and then I've been reading the they're like Disney villain books I'm reading the poor unfortunate soul which is about the sea witch so I did mark that down in my planner using the poppet reading sticker and then moving on to Tuesday I used one of listen to Charlotte designs foiled bows to mark down that we were going to be having a home day on Tuesday and then I put down one of my Poppet PC stickers because we have been playing some computer games and PlayStation games for the day. And we built really, really big sofa dens, like it took up the whole living room. And we haven't done that for such a long time. So it's really nice just to chill out and yeah, play games all day with the boys. We also done some drawing as well, which I marked down. I did manage to get some laundry done. So I put one of my Poppet laundry stickers down I put down a full box just to block off the time and then here I'm just writing down that we've done some drawing. It is kind of fun doing a rewind plan with me or a rewind spread because you remember things and you get to put them down instead of me like planning in things and maybe that doesn't happen or I have to move things around. It's actually really fun to look back and see what I did actually do. It's just a different way of planning for me. So moving on to Wednesday. So Wednesday in the summer holidays is our fam day out. So our whole family tends to go out somewhere for the day. So for this particular day, we all went out to Fremlingham Castle and it rained the entire day and we took a picnic. It was like a wet picnic fam day out. Let me insert the picture. So if you've ever been to Framlingham Castle, you'll know in one kind of certain area, I think it's where the moat used to be around the castle, there's just one tree that grows and that's the tree that we were all under trying to keep kind of dry. But it was a really fun day still, even though it was raining because the kids were sliding down all the hills 
because obviously it was very slippery. It was just fun. It's still fun, even if it was raining. So to mark for the raining, I used one of my weather washi stickers. And then the group of poppet heads is from the family sheet. And then obviously I have got the little lunchtime poppets to mark down for the wet picnic. And then when we got home, we got pyjamas on because we were soaked through. So we just got jammies on and then laid on the sofa and watched Netflix to warm up. We kind of all huddled together with fluffy blankets. It was kind of nice. So then moving on to Thursday, we had another day out. I took my sister and her children and we all went up to Centre Parks for the day. So I just marked that down on a half box and again I used the poppet heads from the family timesheet. At least on this day, it was not raining so we had a day where we weren't getting soaked. I just used my Tipex to white out all of the black lines. You would have seen me keep using it just because it shows through sometimes on the stickers. So I just white it out before I put my full box down. We went swimming for pretty much the whole entire day. So I used one of the Poppet floaty stickers. And then on a half box, I put down that we had lunch there as well. And I used one of the Poppets from the barbecue time sheet with the little burger. The lunch did cost £86, which I was quite shocked about because it was just lunch, mainly children's. But I just wanted to mark that down. So I remember to myself, you know, it was £86. <laughs> uh, the children all got ice cream afterwards. So I put one of the little poppets from the takeaway sheet with the ice cream. And then me and my sister got Starbucks because you can't go to Centre Parks without getting Starbucks. And then what better goes with Starbucks coffee than um, Krispy Kreme donuts? <laughs> So we also bought one of the large packs of Krispy Kreme donuts that I brought home and finished off. Whoops. I also used one of my Poppet clock stickers as we joked that we kind of entered into some weird time warp situation because we looked at our watches and, you know, it was like three o'clock. And then what felt like 15 minutes later, it was half past four. So that just vanished into thin air that time. <laughs> So for Friday, it was my payday. So I used one of the foiled payday stickers. I believe it's from the Ginger Cat Co, but I'll, I'll have to double check. And then I was back at work on Friday. So I used a page flag, flag to mark that. I can't talk because I've been talking nonstop. Um, my children actually went to my sister's as I was at work. So I've put that down on a half box with a little happy poppet from the feeling sheet. And then I actually got caught in torrential rain while I was at work and I didn't have my raincoat or anything. So I was completely soaked. So I had to mark that down. I put a full box down as obviously I was at work, so not really doing anything. And then when I got back to my sister's, we found some really old camcorder videotapes. So we sat down and we watched some of those and all of our children Oh my goodness, they were so young Ugh, to go back. But I put that down at the bottom there. And then for the weekend, I put the weekend banner down at the bottom. And then for Saturday, I actually went out with my daughter. We had a girly day because she is um, away this week with her dad. They've actually gone camping as well, but she's on holiday with her dad. So before she left, we spent the whole day. We went up to the city and we spent, I think it was eight hours up there. Yes, yeah, so we spent eight hours up there shopping. And it was just a really fun day. So I put that down with a little crazy eyed poppet because I didn't realise that we'd been that long up there. We did also try bubble tea for the first time. So I'm going to need to make some bubble tea stickers. That's definitely something that I'm going to be doing this week. I really am excited to design those. But we had a milk moya tea and it had the coconut little balls inside it sounds weird if you don't know what I'm talking about but just google bubble tea it's actually delicious and then when we come home on Saturday I just helped her pack ready for her to leave on Sunday so to, for Sunday to start off I used one of the poppets that's kind of cramming the suitcase down because that's literally what her suitcase looked like she called me up into her bedroom she's like mum I have a problem and she was sitting on the suitcase trying to zip it up it was hilarious um, I also done some housework on Sunday as well as some laundry so I put a house work sticker down and then a laundry washing line down as well and then obviously I wanted to sit down and film my plan with me or my rewind spread so to mark that I used a washi from the messy desk washi sheet I think it was called messy desk yes it was and then down at the bottom there I wanted to reopen my shop because like I said I've been away for two weeks so I wanted to open the shop and then answer any messages or anything that I had to do on there and then flipping it over to the sidebar I used a full box up at the top and it 
the kit did actually come with two strips of washi they weren't matching washi or anything but i completely forgot until i saw it so it does actually come with two strips of washi in case you were wondering um i put down a little things header on top of the washi because I wanted to have a section where I could write things that were happening for next week and then I decided to track all the meals that we were going to have this week and then I just finished it off with some washi down at the bottom and then here I'm just putting some of the deco stickers around my camera does cut off in a minute and I kind of show you what I done because I wasn't sure where it cut off and my camera doesn't make a noise when it shuts off or anything it just stops recording it's not until you look up that you're like oh right it's not recording so I just put a couple of bits of deco up at the top there I filled out the meals that we had that week and then I was just writing in the things that were going to be happening next week and that was it for this week's spread I have still got some stickers left over I'm thinking about maybe doing a giveaway of all of my leftover stickers maybe for the month so maybe at the end of each month or the beginning of a month I can do maybe a little giveaway if any of you are interested in that let me know down below and I'll try and organize how to do that but that was it for this week's spread I'm so sorry I've been so chatty I think it's because I haven't spoken to you guys for two weeks and I feel like oversharing so I apologize for me going off on random stories but I hope you guys have enjoyed the video anyway please make sure you give me a thumbs up if you did if you are new to my channel then make sure you hit the subscribe button before you go and I hope you guys are having a lovely week so far and I will speak to you next time bye guys